This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Daisy Flow. This design is stitched by first starting with a gently curving line and then you're going to stitch a circle at the end of that line. Stitch a little line to get like a curvy line, kind of get in the center of that circle and stitch another circle and then start working your way around that circle stitching some very small petal shapes. Basically what I'm doing is I'm combining two different designs together from the free motion quilting project. The first design is called Poseidon's Eye and that is the um, long line with the circle on the end and that one will be kind of built up and echoed so it takes up a lot of space on the quilt surface. The second design that this is incorporating is Super Daisy and that is the daisy design that's in the center of the circle. And if you really want to practice this design and stitch it on your next quilt, I'd advise you to go back and find Poseidon's Eye and stitch that design a few times. And then also find Super Daisy and stitch that a few times before you combine the two together into this design. It really does make a lot more sense once you do that. Now to finish up the kind of Poseidon's Eye aspect of this design, you're going to go back to the place where the circle began and pick up right there and swirl around the entire shape with an echo. Then you're going to travel stitch and echo again. You're going to come around and you're going to continue to reconnect with that point where the circle kind of began and then bounce back and around. What these lines of echo quilting do is they really build up and attract attention to that super daisy. They add kind of this swirling moving matrix around those places of dense stitching where those daisies can really show off and stand out. It almost looks like they're kind of encapsulated in a bubble and that really adds to the texture of this design. It almost looks like daisies are floating in water or something like that. It's really neat. Um, it is a little challenging to stitch, I'll be honest, and it does require a lot of precision stitching, so you just have to be careful with that. Once you kind of fill in that entire daisy and then any weird areas, just fill those in with some curvy lines. Just simply branch out going in a new direction with a new curvy line and a new circle and stitch around that into that circle with a new circle and stitch around that circle with petals. Yeah, there's a lot of steps to this design. <laughs> now you can see I've kind of fast forwarded on to the end and you can see how this texture is starting to sh take shape. And you can see what I mean about this design not really working very well in tight or complex areas. Uh, you really want to just kind of fill in these tiny little areas like you see I'm stitching right now with some curvy lines. And so rather than trying to squish another circle and daisy in here, instead I'm just sim simply stitching some curvy lines finishing off that area so it looks consistent with the rest of the design. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Daisy Flow. For over 350 videos on free motion quilting, all posted for free, check out the Free Motion Quilting Project at freemotionproject.com.